Time for Life Broker Sunday Agenda. Experts in life insurance, here's Damien Barrett. Thanks, Ash. You caught with Majak Dor during the week and he revealed that he'd re-signed with North Melbourne through to the end of 2015. In the interview you're about to see uh, now, he makes references to what Harry O'Brien's going through. He also talks about the abuse that certain North Melbourne players cop every single week they play a game of footy. And he starts here by revealing how much ground he still has to make up on getting his standard of footy to a level that he's happy with. I'd like to think I'm just scratching on the surface and, yep. you know, uh, building my knowledge of the game, learning our, um, uh, our structure yep. and even just um, <clears throat> learning my teammates' strengths and weaknesses as I start to play more games and get to know them more. I'm not an aggressive person by nature, so it, it's taught me to be, um, you know, a little bit more aggressive and the, uh, the word that uh, Brad's used um, with me a lot is, you know, nice guys always finish last, so I've got to try and, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, be more aggressive out there. You got a taste of the, the real big time a few weeks ago when you played Nick Natanui over there in Perth. He probably beat you on that occasion, but what did that do to you and how much more of that moment do you want to experience? Going over there to Perth, playing on Patterson Stadium, you know, oh, it was pretty intimidating seeing all the Eagle supporters and um, they do create a hostile environment and to come up against Nick Natanui and you know he's a great player and a uh, tremendous athlete and um, going up against him um, it's pretty memorable I'm always going to remember that moment and I like to compare myself to him and and hopefully there are more great battles like that ahead. You're an AFL multicultural ambassador as is Harry O'Brien I dare say you've got to know him reasonably well through that arrangement what do you take out of what's happening with him? I've got to know Harry, Nick Natanui and Basha Hooley, all those guys who do a tremendous job um, as ambassadors and one thing I'd like to say is Harry's a great bloke and he's got a lot of ideas to offer to the AFL and you know um, I just want to give him my support throughout this time. I'm sure he's having a pretty tough time but Harry's, cra uh, Harry's a strong character and um, he um, will come out stronger. James Brachel recently told the public that uh, Players at North Melbourne were regularly abused from across the fence. Um, can I get your take on that occurrence? It is pretty disappointing in itself, but I personally I didn't, I didn't hear it yep. at the time. So the only time I, uh, where I was made aware of it is uh, during the week that yep. it came out in the media. But um, the AFL is doing a great job in, um, in cracking those barriers and the work I do as an AFL multicultural ambassador is um, to try and help the AFL, um, you know, find better ways in dealing with um, these sort of issues. And the more we expose kids, um, you know, to people like me yep. um, of different um, backgrounds, then they sort of understand. You know, oh, I've met Matt Jack today, and you know, he seems like a great mm. guy. So next time, when someone at the schoolyard says something about the skin colour, maybe that kid can stand up.